in there. <laughs> Get a big old region. I packed some extra stuff. Hey, Monty. Don't forget the snowshoes. Okay, buddy, you ready? You ready, Monty? Let me get some. Get those dirty feet. There you go. All right. All right. Let's do it, Monty. Make sure to forget anything. Okay. Looks like we got all our stuff, Monty. Oh. <sighs> all right. Back on the water, Monty. Oh, Monty, you're turning us. Wide load on the back. Right, Monty? <sighs> well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am back in the boat with Mr. Monty here, Mr. Monty Phelps, and we're doing a little river trip today. So gonna spend the night down here on the river. Um, I had to drag my boat down a road that was not plowed for a little ways. It was not nothing crazy, it's about a half mile, but uh, I'm gonna try to do some fishing today. I know I'm not a trout fisherman as far as like fishing rivers and stuff. I'm not a very uh, seasoned trout fisherman and I'm not afraid to, to, to deny that at all. And this is definitely the earliest I've been on a river like this um, and paddled. This is definitely the earliest I've paddled. You know, usually the lakes are still frozen, so I was just getting. Oh, we're, we're blocked up, Monty. I was just getting the itch really bad to get in my boat. I've packed way too much stuff <laughs> because I don't got a portage. We're going to just camp on the river and uh, my car is parked at the end and uh, got my snowshoes. I've got a shovel because there's still snow on the ground. I'm not exactly sure how much we'll find out when we find a place to camp. But uh, anywho, we're going to go for some trout. We're going to try for a fish dinner, maybe a little surf and turf. I got a backup in case and I've got my saw and my axe handy because I don't want to, you know, I can't say for sure, but I'm pretty sure I'm the first person to be doing this paddle for the year because the ice just recently got off of it, or uh, melted, and it's uncovered, and there's no, uh, there's no other uh, canoe tracks. So we're going to get doing some fishing here, and I'm, I'm just going to be casting a spinner. I'm not going to be using any worms or anything like that. And I'm just going to try casting under sunken logs, sunken trees on these slow moving banks. You know, where you think fish would be. And we'll see if we catch anything. I, my prediction is... Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, I'm stuck. Oh. I'm heavy enough. My prediction is, is that we will get one bite of a fish. Probably not catch any, but get a bite. And we're going to lose about... 
four lures. That's my prediction, Monty. What do you think? First, first fish we'll catch will go to Monty. We'll feed it to him. If we get more than one, I'll have some because I brought I brought myself out a safety net. Monty, if we don't catch any fish, we're gonna be sharing. We're gonna be sharing. Let's just leave it at that. So, anywho, let's do some fishing. Okay, right up ahead, we've got a nice little log jam. See, I'm what I'm thinking I'm gonna have to do to be successful here is to uh, probably get out because the water is a little high right now. Ah, uh, you know what? This is a little tangly. We'll, we'll hit the next one up. We'll hit the next one up. We'll fish this bend first. Whew, will we catch anything? I don't know. Here we go. We'll just... One thing that's working against me is I have a eight foot ultralight reel rod and then that's that's not ideal for this this is not like a i mean there's big open spots but for the most part this is a windy loggy river but you never know and like i said it's moving kind of quick so it's going to be tough it's going to be tough to do this while moving and then not running into stuff like right here. I also don't really know what colors to use. When I'm fishing like a trout lake or something like that, I'll use, you know, bright. That's what I'm going to stick to for right now. And that's usually more of when the bugs are out, but not 100% sure if, you know, I should use a silver silver and gold or that sort of color or we'll see who knows like i said this is this is experimentation time we don't know what we're doing but i do know there's lots of logs yeah 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 <laughs> stuck myself on shore here just just slightly wedged there's like a nice couple of down logs up ahead Oh, it feels so good being back in the canoe right now. <laughs> right, Monty? Ooh, ooh. Did you upset those geese, Monty? Did you do it? Did you do it, Monty? Are we at the dog park? Do you want to go for the dog park? Do you want a treat? <laughs> We're at the dog park, Monty. And our Monty has settled in. He realized we are at the dog park and there are treats to be had at some point. And he's a good boy. Right, Monty? <laughs> Here we've got another nice big down tree. There's gonna be a lot of fishing territory along this. Like I said, I don't do the whole river fishing thing, so I know if this was like um, early May, bug spawn time, I'm sure I could catch trout no problem, but this is way earlier than that. This is still lots of snow, lakes are covered in ice, sort of river fishing. And that I have no clue on. I don't know the best approach. We're learning. I'm going to assume the trout are going to be in the holes in this, and more towards the uh, bottom of the water. That's my assumption. It's just a matter of finding good spots. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, oh. Ah, it's so hard to fish. <laughs> Every time I get a cast off, it's hard to fish in this. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, there's got to be a fish under there. There's so got to be a fish under there. Okay, so I've been taking my time, and I've been doing lots of casts, and no luck so far. Now, I haven't had many quality casts, um, because I'm just, in the boat, the, the current's moving pretty quick here, so every time I see a good spot, like kind of like up ahead, I cast there and then I'm already, you know, blowing past it or shooting into a corner. So I'm thinking the best bet is to, uh, you know, get up on the shore somewhere where there's some good spots and take a few minutes to cast. You know, and I'm not seeing, I'm trying to like creep along some spots and just like look for fish. And I haven't seen any trout and, hey, you know, that just, that just is what it is. You know, maybe they're just where I can't see them or whatever or. Oh, maybe there's just no fish in the whole dang river. That, that's probably the most logical answer. <laughs> oh, uh oh. What a big old underpass here. Woo! What do you think about that, Monty? Anywho, I'm, you know, it also could be my lure. It, I could, yeah, I think I'm gonna switch to a spoon here because this thing's pretty light, this little spinner. And it's colorful. You know, no hits. Done, done a bunch of casts and no hits, but like I said, not many quality casts. But I'm just taking my time. And you know, as as you can guess, I got a late start today. <laughs> we'll call this the Late Start River. <laughs> that's that's its new name. I've I've had later starts here, that's for sure. <laughs> but uh yeah, we've only got three hours of daylight, so I'm gonna fish for another hour and a half is what we're gonna shoot for. And then after about an hour and a half, I'm just going to find a spot to set up camp. Or if I find a good spot earlier, uh, we'll set up and then I'll just paddle upstream. You know, it's not moving so fast that I can't uh, paddle up it, but it's not, you know, I could, I could definitely paddle up this. Uh, it's not moving that crazy fast, but it's faster than normal. Now, it's not insane right now because, uh, like I said, this... If you've been watching, the snow has just not been melting off fast. It's just a really slow melt, so it's not like the river's out of control yet. But we need to change something up. We need to change our lure up. It'll at least make me feel better about the situation. What do you think, Monty? Will make you feel better? Yeah, it's good, dude. I just, you know, we're, I'm just chilling. I'm back in the boat. Yeah, he's. What? Got some sand on your nose, Monty. Monty got a fresh grooming. He's so handsome right now. He's so suave. Right, Monty? You suave? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's so still out. It's so quiet. It's creepy. It's creepy. All right. Change lure. I'm seeing so many good spots to set up camp. But well, we've got a ways to go. I'd like to give myself at least an hour of light wherever I decide to post up. You know, get some firewood, set up the tarp. We're just gonna be sleeping under a tarp tonight. Um, oh, oh, Monty shift. Oh. Is that one, Monty? <laughs> Not gonna lie, well, the first right when we got in the boat, Monty stood up and kind of plopped on one end right away. <laughs> I was not ready for it. It's been a few months since I, uh, you know, done de dealt with the whole Monty shift. 
But right now, here's what we're trying. We've got a little blue and silver eighth ounce Clio. Well, we've got a nice downed log. It's like the thousandth, thousandth one. I just scared off any fish in it within a half mile. Let's try anyways. We're gonna bump into this structure, but maybe if I if there's a fish, I can catch it before we hit it. Well, that was probably oh, that was probably the best cast so far. That was definitely the best cast I've done my the whole day. I was ab about to say my whole life, but that was that's not true. Right, my D is not true. That was a pretty good cast though. It barely just hooked a little little log right at the end. That's why I gave up. Uh oh. Oh no. We've got a our first down tree. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be tricky. Where can we go? Where can we go from here? Oh. All right, Martin, we're just gonna we're just gonna go through like this. You ready to limbo, dude? Back in Monty. Oh man, something is in the way. Here, you good, Monty? Home free of that first one. Whoa. You good, Monty? Okay. Good boy. Oh. Okay. Yeah, the water right now is cold. It would not be fun to flip the boat. Oh, there's bugs in the water. Look at, look at those bugs, Monty. Some kind of little bug. It may fly some. Ooh, that would have been a good stump. Oh, I bet there's a fish under there. Dang it, Monty. Why don't you tell me? Why don't you tell me to cast there, huh? Huh? You got you got schmutz all over your face, Monty. Oh, you, you just got it all over you. You little stinker? You little stanker? We've got some fish habitat straight ahead. Fish habitat straight ahead. All right, Monty, we're gonna try to creep in, nice and quiet. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that wasn't bad. Not too shabby. Come on, fish. Where are you at? Oh no! Stupid eight foot rod! No! No! no. <laughs> Dang it! There was another great spot. <laughs> this is why you don't fish with an eight foot ultralight rod in a little river. Might as well be using a fly fishing rod. Cut that tree. Ugh. Oh. Just hooked a tree branch. I'm de this year I'm definitely like <laughs> I'm willing winter away I'm willing it away like winter you're not stopping me from going in my boat and fishing no sir or no ma'am mother nature I guess I guess winter has to be a ma'am because of mother nature it's not father nature Uh, 
<laughs> Look at this. Just how do I how do I fish near this without getting out of my boat? That's the main thing. I want to get out of my boat. Ow. Oh. You know, like the, just a huge dead down tree. It's probably 25 foot trout under there. World record. But I'm just not stopping. I'm gonna wait until there's a really nice spot to get out. I'm only gonna get out like maybe once or twice. Cause I just don't, you know. God, everything looks so good for fishing. Um, you know what, we're gonna get out right here. We're gonna fish this spot. Ooh, look at that, a spring spider. Ooh, look at that spring spider. Oh, Monty, watch out. Oh, Monty. Does that freak you guys out? Monty's nose so close to the spider. It's just a wolf spider. How many of you are getting the heebie-jeebies right now? <laughs> you want to bite my finger, guy? Go ahead. Bite it. Bite it. No. He's not going to bite. <laughs> We're just parked up on shore here. There is one thing I do know about trout. It's that they're very sound sensitive and vibration. They can see you, so you got to creep up. I'm getting up to the edge of the water. So I'm going to turn off the camera, and I'm not going to talk unless I catch one. And I'm just going to be sneaky and cast along all this nice territory all in here. Dang it. I thought that was a bite. I got all excited for a second there. Just a log. All right, Monty. All right, Monty. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, gotta carefully set the Monty in the wall. Oh. oh no. Oh no. My foot's sinking. Monty, can you get on my seat? Okay, 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 okay. Oh, 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 oh. oh. I want to be here. Get in the back. Get in the back. Come on. There. Okay. Oh. This soft riverbed. Almost, uh, I almost got my foot soaked. Gotta be careful. Man, it's so soft. I won't deny it. I just got extremely lucky on the whole wet foot thing. A wet foot right now would not be that fun. But uh, I just took a step on some really soft ground in the riverbed. And luckily there was a log down there where I would have had a soaked foot. Cold soaked foot. Gotta be more careful. But yeah, no, no luck fishing. There's some good territory. We'll try the next one. We'll keep trying. I'm not going to stop casting. Even if I don't catch anything, I don't get any bites. Don't lose any lures, you know. I'm still having fun. It's still just the feeling of... It's making me feel like it's spring. <laughs> it doesn't look like it. <laughs> not yet. It doesn't feel like spring yet. It's like... What's the temperature? I think it's like 40? Maybe? Maybe low 40s? Somewhere in there? Fahrenheit? I was casting under this log right here. I let the lure sink down under. I thought that might give it a, thought there might be something sitting there. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Monty, you're gonna be eating some of my steak. I'm gonna have less steak tonight. Can't let the boy starve, you know what I mean? And by starve, I mean 
can't let the Monty go without half the steak. <laughs> so the steak sweet and some pumpkin puree. Yeah. got our second down tree. I think we're just gonna have to uh, pull the boat over this one. I ain't cutting this one up. No sure. No sure. All right. How are we gonna do this, Monty? Oh, it doesn't look so bad. It's not so bad. slip it's like <laughs> three feet it would be cold oh no my fishing pole the eight foot ultralight highly recommended for this Now, I need to get back in the boat. Okay. Not so bad, Monty, hey? Scoop! Good scoop! 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 Oh no. I think we've got another obstacle right ahead. Monty's just like, I don't know about all this crap. Hey, Monty, you're doing great, pal. This one. Oh. Well, how are we getting through here? What's the best? What's the best way? Well, not that way. All right, I'm gonna have to break down my fishing pole here. We're going through too, too much stuff here. Be dealing with this eight foot ultralight. Oh man, this is this is gonna be thick. I'm sorry, Monty, for all the stuff that's about to hit you in the face. Hey, you Monty. Monty, I want to sit down. You okay, Monty? All right, Monty's looking good. I'm doing good. This branch has got to go. See, this is, some of them are easy to break. But this is why I brought the ax and left it up front. So I can just give her one of those. Now we're on our way. Close this ax back up. Keep on trucking. Ooh, 
you guys are good boy. So I haven't uh, haven't been doing as much fishing. I'm just kind of cruising along because you know I've been going pretty slow. Been taking my time, just been soaking it in, enjoying it. It's very silent out, and there's some birds chirping. We have not gone very far, and I, I want to make up a little distance because I'm definitely going to have another bunch of bunch more trees falling down. Um, and just like the one up ahead, or nope, nope, oh, it's not, that's not one down, I can get around it, but yeah. And uh, tomorrow's gonna be a somewhat longer day, so I want to get some distance made up. This is a little, little bit of a longer stretch of river, so I'll pick up the pace just a little bit. I'm not gonna rush, but you know, we've only got another half hour till I wanna pick a campsite, and you know, there's a lot of good spots to be honest, like right here, all in here nice and open and flat looks like there's nice firewood we'll keep trucking we'll keep trucking but yeah i'm <laughs> i don't think we're gonna catch many fish any i don't think we're gonna catch any fish i'm gonna wait till there's a couple spots i've passed where um it's like there's a big tree and it kind of back eddies and there's a nice deep hole i think that's that's where i want to be fishing so if i see another one of those I'm gonna wait till one of those and then I'll give it a shot. But for now, we're just gonna enjoy the paddle, soak it in. You know. Oh, Monty! Oh, Monty! Monty's just enjoying it. Oh, here we go. Oh! No! We gotta go around, Monty. Ooh. You gotta be careful, I don't wanna hit Monty in the face like last time. Oops. Oh. <laughs> I feel so guilty. <laughs> Monty. Monty, it's just foam. <laughs> it's just foam, Monty. <laughs> Monty. <laughs> There's foam over there on the log. And he just does not <gasps> like it. Monty, it's just foam. Chill out. We just gotta go around this tree. Oh. <laughs> Monty, it's just foam. Stop it. Monty, stop it. Monty. Okay, Monty, duly noted, you don't like foam. Hey, hey, no, 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 no! Monty, oh man, that's mud. Monty, you're a... <laughs> just, 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 Monty, leave it alone. <laughs> Monty. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. You'll be okay, big guy. Yeah, you tough guy. You tell him. Tell that phone. Tell that phone who's boss. Stay there. Monty. All right, Monty, I believe you. The foam's evil. It's evil foam. Monty! 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 Oh, it's cracking me up. Monty, look at What is that? Monty, who is that? Did you see that phone, Monty? Did you see that phone? You bark at it. It'll do something. Monty, you're so silly. Monty, you're so silly. Oh, come on now. 
All right, all right, Monty, it's in the past. We're moving forward now, okay? Deal? Just one more. Oh, we got, we got the mildest rapids in the world up ahead. Hey, anybody remember what happened the last time I went down rapids? Was like... <laughs> oh, this is class five rapids right here. Class five. You gotta, you gotta be careful. <laughs> oh, jeez. Monty, 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 it's foam. <laughs> it's a foam. Monty. Oh, that's a big rock. I don't want to run into any. That's the one, one thing I don't like about these shallow rapids. It's not that I'm worried about tipping in this slow, this stuff, or running into a big old rock, which you can't see. That's the worry. That's the worry. Yeah. Come on, Auntie. Yeah, this is looking like some nice territory up on this ridge. I don't know. Do I want to be up on a ridge? Or do I want to be right next? I want to be right next to the water. Yeah. Hopefully it's not all, it's not like this. Yeah, wherever we, wherever we end up in the next 25 minutes, I don't know, 20, 20-ish, somewhere in there, wherever we end up, I hope it's not like that. I guess we ever got the other side too though. I think we'll try to come back here when it's the bugs are real bad. When it's real nasty, we're just getting eaten alive by mayflies and mosquitoes. Then you know the fishing's gonna be good. Then you can throw anything at those darn trout. Those darn trout, and they'll uh, they'll bite. I'm sure I could catch them if I knew what I was doing. I was knew if I knew what to use. But like I said, this is not my expertise area. More of a pike and bass guy you know springtime you know middle heart of springtime I can catch them you know but I don't fly fish something I'm interested in learning but I don't do it don't know how I mean I, I'm sure I could learn but I'm just not a fly fisherman I'm a spinning spinning reel kind of guy but we'll give it a shot I think I'm gonna do a lot of exploring um, lakes I've never tried this this year this summer right when spring starts or when when the when the ice off is you know end of May when when the bass and pike is all open and they're legal to keep then we'll do a lot of exploring when the bugs are real nasty what do we got here is there hope is there a way through oh it's a little bit it's not so bad oh this one's easy an easy one Easy one, just a little branches of Monty face. Branches. Oh, 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 oh. Face flipping. Oh, sir. <laughs> Sorry, Monty. My bad, Monty. That's how you flip yourself right there. As I was, when I was going under that, I grabbed with my right hand. A branch to try to pull myself through in the back end kept swinging so it was kind of like pulling me pulling me down like that so if I didn't grab a branch with my left hand there's a chance we could have filled up with a little water there but I grabbed a branch and then just straightened ourselves out oh Monty we got a little limbo watch your head there bud how low can you go Monty Oh, you're fine. Camera's not fine. Mine's well, fine. We're going back. We're going back.
Hey, <laughs> a teeny little paddle, look at it. <laughs> All right, hey, I'll take a paddle. Ooh, it's got, are those leeches? No way. What is that? Oh, well, I don't know if the camera can pick that up. Those might be baby leeches. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, can you see that? All those creepy crawlies on there? Ooh, they're, oh, whatever they are, they're sliming. What do we got here? Oh, and we're going in shore. I don't know what those are. Might be leeches. No, they don't look like leeches. They look like some kind of larvae. Whatever they are, they're getting all over my hands. They look nasty. Getting on my hands. Whatever they are, they're not staying on very well. Well, they kind of came right off. There we go. Okay. Store that for later. Big old down tree. This is the sort of thing that if I can't get around right up here, we have to portage around this. That's too. There ain't no way I'm cutting her through that, so let's see what we got. I don't want to get sucked under it, that's for sure. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> there's hope. Oh, oh, looks like. Oh, we can do it. We got this, Monty. Oh, this tree's so wet. We almost lost our our new paddle. Our new little little paddle. Oh, there goes a the trout. Oh, I just saw my first fish. Oh, oh, my hat. Well, okay. It's official, the trout do exist in this river, which I knew they did, but it was under this tree. I don't know how I'm going to cast under there and catch one, but now I know the sort of habitat they like, at least that one did, a big old fresh tree. So that's good to know. We learned something. So I'm going to try, and the next big tree I see like that, I'm going to try to cast near the edge of that. So we want to find camp in the next 20 minutes here, and the sun, let's see, what do we got here? What do we got here for compass? What's this way? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Okay, this is north, so the sun's going to be setting around that side. Even though it's cloudy, probably won't matter too much, but I prefer to camp on this side. So the next big open spot we see, um, it's got a nice view of the river here. We're gonna camp it, so we're on the lookout now for camp. We're gonna get some firewood, get a, get the tarp set up, get a nice stick for the the old monster, the monster, monster, monster. I'm having so much trouble right now settling on a spot. So I want it to be perfect, you know. Like there was a pretty good spot right there. It's pretty open, but there's just a little too many sticks right on the edge of the water. And all this, there's just a little. There's just gonna be a nice spot, maybe even on like a little, little bluffy ridge sort of thing. We're gonna, we'll get a spot. There's so many that look so promising though. We must find the perfect. Whatever one we find will be the perfect one, but we're gonna, we're not gonna just settle down. We're not gonna settle here. Oh, these are. This is a good spot. 
Nope, 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 no, 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 no. Going a little later than I'd like to, but it's hard to pick a spot. Oh, 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 Monty. Oh, 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 jeez. Uh, yeah. It's hard to pick a spot. I'm having campsite spot indecisiveness. It's a thing. It's a real thing. It's definitely a real thing. If you've been camping before, I mean, you know it's a real thing. How low can you go, Monty? Yeah. I saw a couple of spots that were pretty good, but it was a little dark. I want a little bit more open, but we're going another 15 minutes max. And if I go another seven minutes without finding a suitable spot, we're just gonna settle. We're just gonna settle. It'll still be the perfect spot, but you know, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. It's really killing me right now. <laughs> the, <clears throat> the indecisiveness. It's getting me, Monty. We're about to have. Oh, what are you doing? Watch yourself. Watch yourself there, Pat. Oh, this isn't a bad spot. It's just a little hilly. Oh. See, that's not. Oh, that's pretty open over there. I just want to be on the water's edge. Oh. Oh. Okay, we'll just we'll just go a little another five minutes. <laughs> yeah, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. You're so vicious. Good Monty. That's a good Monty. Just found a great spot, but there's a little baby deer over there. It's not a super fawn, but it's, I don't know, you could probably not pick it up. Maybe I'll zoom in, but it's right there. I don't want to disturb it. Is that a button buck? Oh, it is a button buck. If I had my DSLR, I could zoom, but um, it's, it's in my bag. I did just find a great spot though, but I just, I can't. It's my spot, look at that, it's perfect and open. But I don't want to disturb that little guy. He looks like he's hunkered down for the night. Oh, this is a pretty good spot, though. <laughs> Dang it. Dang it. Well, we'll leave him be. We'll leave him be. We'll go, we'll go up a little bit more. We'll keep going. Wouldn't be such a problem just, you know... I try to get out as early as I can sometimes, and it just, it doesn't matter how many times I go camping. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> packing is still, it just takes me a while. I don't know what it is, I just, I'm, I'm very methodical about it. I put everything out, and I just get everything all stuffed and ready, and then slowly just start packing it. And, well, this is pretty good. Okay, not the worst thing that, oh no, we've got some, we've got some tanglage right here. Oh, my camera's gonna get knocked around. Okay. Uh, okay. Alright, Monty, we've gotta find a spot ASAP, eh? This is a little swampy looking. Oh, there's tracks of something. Looks like beavers dragging trees. We could probably make this work. It's a little, little swampy looking. I think we're just gonna get out here, Monty. We're gonna make this work. Yeah, we can set up camp right in here. This will be our spot. We'll walk around, find a nice spot to set up. 
Hold on, Monty. Stay there. Don't you dare get wet now. Oh, no. Oh, that didn't work out. I got pushed back. <laughs> that would have been fun. I can't tell if it's solid. Okay, it is. Let's get our Monty out. All right, ready, Monty? Okay. There you go. Okay, so we're set up right here along the edge of the river. So you can see something was dragging, looks like sticks or something, or I don't know what that, what that's from. Prints, probably a beaver dragging his tail. But anyways, um, let's see where we're gonna set up. I don't know if I wanna sleep right here on the edge or go in a little bit, but um, yeah, I'm gonna get my boat unpacked, get my DSLR out, and we're gonna find, I'm gonna walk around a little bit and find a nice, Flattish spot. I did bring the shovel so I can. What what I might do actually is just, you know, flatten this out. We can sleep right on the edge of the water, which is, which was the plan. But I'll walk around a little bit after we get the boat unpacked, and uh, we'll see if we can find a really cool spot. Very right, much. We got some crap to get. Okie dokie, this is gonna be the spot we choose. Whoa. Hi Marty! Stick it through a little bit. Let's see. Maybe we'll set up the tarp right here. I'm gonna have to flatten this out a little bit. But uh let's see. Hi Marty. Hi. You want to sleep right here, Monty? What do you think? If we go to that tree, that tree, I think right here is just going to be a cool spot to sleep. Very cool. He's already terrorizing sticks. So we just needed to tarp it. Okay, we're just gonna set up, I'm gonna set up a line from right here to right here, and we're just gonna sleep this way, underneath it. Should do the trick, should do the trick. It's really not windy at all. There is a chance for rain. I think there was a chance for rain. Is, was, either way, we're gonna need a little something something going. Doesn't have to, we don't have to get crazy. Let's see what we got for pieces of paracord here. Do I have one that'll work for a ridge line? Oh, the good old rat's nest. Never fails. Hey, Monty. You getting that stick? I bet you are. Let's see. We'll go this high. Pretty even there. Pretty good. Okay. Now I'm just gonna clear some crap out of the boat here. And uh, I'm probably gonna do a spike. We're just gonna have like a high angle tarp. I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna do a lean to style. We'll see how it looks when uh, the stuff's folded over. We're just gonna go for a big coverage and I have it nice and open tonight. Nice and open. Let's see how this looks first off.
Oh no! <laughs> the epitome of rat's nest. Oh gosh. What's gonna happen here with this rat's nest is Monty is going to trip on this, get himself tangled up, and take the whole thing down. That's what I'm seeing. Um. Oh man, this is a uh, this is quite the rat's nest right here. There's one cord out. Let's see if we can get some more out. You know, it's always fun when you're you're pressed for time just a little bit. And you've got a big tangler to deal with. And uh, the thing about it is, you know, I could totally could totally figure something out to where I don't have to deal with this. But where is the fun in that? What? You mean no rat's nest? No fun. See, right now I'm challenging myself. How fast can I detangle this mess of paracord? And there's, I've got black paracord in there. I've got orange. I've got green. I've got all sorts of colors. Hey, that wasn't so bad. Take this chunk here. I think I detangled the whole thing. Okay, let's see how that looks. I'm not looking for anything crazy tonight. Just looking for coverage, you know? Just slight coverage. Okay. Yeah. That'll do. That'll do. You know what I'd like though? I'd like if this wasn't so... Ooh, I got it. I got what we're gonna do. I'm gonna empty out the canoe. We're gonna flip it over and I'll tie it to the canoe. And I'm gonna pull this one back just a little bit so that we have a little bit more opening over here. Okay, let's do that quick, Mike. Like that. There we go. Now, Monty, do we got room? Oh yeah. Perfect, Monty. No. Will this work for a torrential downpour? Absolutely not. Uh, I mean, it could. It would keep us dry. But if there was wind in a torrential downpour, probably not. But for sprinkling rain that's predicted tonight, or light flurries of snow, this is perfectly fine. We're sleeping on the edge of the river. This is a great, Monty's chewing on a stick. So, awesome. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, we're gonna go round up some firewood and uh, bring it back here, bring a bunch of big pieces. I don't think I'm gonna process it up in a little stuff. We're just gonna get it big. We'll have our fire pit right there. And as soon as I get enough wood back here, because it is gonna get dark in 20 minutes, the sun will be set. And it'll start to get dark very quick, especially because it's cloudy tonight. So I'm just gonna bring the firewood back here. We shouldn't need to go anywhere. He's gonna have to come with me. He's gonna tear the whole camp down. I bet if I threw the stick in the water, he'd go fetch it. <laughs> right, Monty? Anyways, um, yeah, like I was saying, I'm gonna go get some firewood and uh, then we'll get the rest of camp set up. Let's do it, Monty.
Get some firewood. Well, that was easy. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I brought my axe. Well, maybe. Maybe we can just go like this. Really good thing I brought my axe. You know, for that one branch that we had to hit along the river. Come on, dude. Okay, so we'll have our fire right here, like I was saying. Okay, so this should be. Plenty of logs, some nice sea. Seems decently solid. This decent. Oh uh, yeah, that should be enough logs. I'll maybe grab like one more piece like this. And then uh, yeah, let's go get some sticks. I'm gonna go, yeah, I'll get another piece like this. Get some sticks, bring them back here, then we're gonna saw up a few pieces, get a fire going. I'm gonna need to uh dig it down. It's a little bit swampy here, which worries me a little bit, but I'm kind of up on a little bit of a higher spot. So we'll see how it goes, but we'll get a fire. We'll dig down. We'll get some sticks. We'll dig down a little bit. Then we'll get a fire going, clear out the snow, even this all out and relax. All right, let's do it, Monty. Let's do it. Man, is it still out tonight? We can hear owls. They're setting Monty off a little bit, but that'd be sweet to hear some owls going crazy tonight. Now we've got to see what we're dealing with here. I don't really, you know, I could build a fire on top of the snow. It'll just melt itself down. Maybe I'll do that. Huh, well, let's just dig that. I don't even know how much snow we really got. and a half, two feet almost still. Okay, so the ground, pretty soft. It's not swamp, thankfully. So this will be a fine spot to have a fire. So I'll just dig this out a little bit more. We'll go right down to the ground. And like I said, it's not very cold out tonight. So we're not gonna need this fire for warmth. It's gonna be a cooking fire. and a relaxation fire. Okie dokes. So, before we spark this up, I'm gonna cut a few logs here to make a base for our fire. And then we'll start it up. Cause it's a little bit soppy of ground. Monty, where'd you go there, pal? Monty, well, there he is. He's creeping. He's creeping around. and solid.
I know I'm, it's, it may seem like I'm, uh, you know, cruising a little bit today. I'm just not dilly dallying because uh, I didn't, you know, I got got here a little bit later. Got a late start, so I'm moving. I'm moving relatively fast today, faster than usual. Getting camp set up and fire started and whatnot. All right, I've got some nice, nice birch bark that I just had in my pocket. I'm just, I like to carry birch bark around in my pocket. All right, let's just, I'm just gonna lightly scrape today. Just lightly, it's not cheating, I'm not, I'm not going, I'm just, you know, just maybe, just a little bit like that. Let's get that one strike, come on, come on. Get that bite. Oh, 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 do, 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 We did it, guys. I didn't think tonight was going to be the night. I did not think it. I did not thought it. But there it is, we did it. One strike, a little bit of pre-scraping. Uh-oh, let's, let's not die fire. So everything's wet right now, so I gotta be careful. I gotta keep feeding this thing with lots of sticks. Ooh, don't go out on me there, fire. There it goes. Monty. You know, this is looking like one of the coolest campsites I've ever had. This is 
pretty sweet. This is probably the coolest spring campsite I've ever had. Just because no bugs, open water, still snow on the ground. It's not very cold. I can hear just the trickle of the water in the stream. It's kind of hard to pick up with the crackle of the campfire and me blabbing, but. This is pretty cool. Pretty sweet spot. Just gotta keep the fire going now. guy that needs a spot, huh? Ooh, oh, there we go. That's exactly what I didn't need to do. <laughs> just stepped right in my flat spot that I just created. Alright. See, Monty's, he's sleepy right now. He always gets, see, I th I'm pretty sure he just gets mentally satisfied being out here. Come here, Monty. Don't worry. He's going to be growing all night. I need to fill this. I'll sleep right here. Monty will sleep right there. Right on top of the snow, just like that. We've got, it's a little bit raised, so we don't, we're not scooting towards the water. Since Monty won't drink, the water I provide for him from the bottle. Let's see. Monty, you want some river water? Here, Monty. Here you go. You want some of this? Go ahead. Go ahead, drink that water. Go ahead, Monty. Go ahead, drink that water. He doesn't want it anyways. Maybe he'll drink it if I walk away. Don't look at him. Oh, shoot. You want this, don't you? Don't you? right on the sniffer. 
<laughs> oh. Nice, sorry, Monty. There you go. You want to lay on that? Come here. You want to lay on this? Monty, come here. That's for you. Yeah, that's for you. Go ahead. Good boy. No, no animals are going to come near us after that nonsense. They're just like, what was that? <laughs> oh. ah. Keep these ends burning. We got a nice coal bed building. Okay, now we need. To, I need to make a nice level uh, chill spot. Sop this big boy into a couple more pieces, and then it's then it's complete chillax time and cook time eventually. It would have been nice to be able to do a little more fishing, but hey, I got out when I got out. Let's blow up my sleeping pad. I'm gonna get all the sleeping stuff, stop the logs, get camp 100% up, percent set up. Mr. Monty. Monty. Hi. Oh, so I've got good and bad news. Hey, Monty. Good news is camp's all set up. It is beautiful outside. It is calm. No wind. Still night. And I'm going to have the sound of that creek so it's not going to be completely dead silent tonight, which I hate. But uh, it's going to be a good night. And I've got a nice Bell's Oarsman Ale. It's for paddlers. <laughs> I'm about to crack it open and take a sip. i got a few of them. And the fire's going good. We've got a nice hot coal bed. I'm probably going to get nice and toasty. Okay, let's... I'm going to get too hot sitting like that. Let's sit like this, Monty. Yeah, and then I can sit next to you. So, for the bad news... The bad news. Monty's sleeping pad is not holding air. It, uh, it's got a hole in it somewhere. What could have caused a hole? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what could have caused a hole, but it's not holding there. I've blown it up twice now. And poor Monty here just wants to lay on it, but he's going to have to settle for this thing. So what we're going to do tonight is he is going to use this. He's going to sleep on this pad tonight, which it's, it's not very cold. If it was cold, just like the Quincy night when I ruined that sleeping pad. But yeah, like I was saying, he's... Oh no! What has it been? It's been a month and I've ruined two sleeping pads already. Anyways, if it was cold, he'd get the good sleeping pad and I'd sleep on the ground, but it's not cold tonight. So he's gonna get this one and I'm gonna have a good night's sleep. Anywho, what I think happened, um, 
I don't actually think it was Monty's teeth popping it. Um, when I was at home, and every time I go camping, I go home, the second I get home, I take out all my stuff, hang it to dry, air it out, and um, that wool blanket that he's got, that thing has been getting wet the past few times, and I didn't realize it until this morning. When that thing drips, the water that comes off of it crystallizes. It's like a salt. It's crystally and it's crusty and it makes a big crust. And um, the sleeping pads, I lay out just in the room on the floor, and they because usually just one side's wet, so I just lay them out on the ground. And that sleeping pad was underneath that blanket, and that blanket was soaked last time. And when I went down to start packing this morning, it was completely covered in that crystallized, crusty stuff, just caked all over the side. And I rinsed it off right away, but what I think happened is when I moved it, it was really like a crust, it's really weird. Um, maybe it punctured a hole in it, I don't know. I mean, it could have been Monty biting it, I don't think so, or it could have been a rogue ember, but I think it was, uh, that uh, crusty stuff and it just made a small hole or something but there's no way for me to find the leak I tried to sit there and listen with my ear um, the only other way the only way to find the leak where it's at and patch it up I do have a patch kit and I would mess around with that is getting it wet if I was gonna spend more than one night out here I would totally submerge it in that water find where the leaks coming from dry it out and uh, yeah, fix it and everything, but I'm only spending the one night out here. It's not very cold tonight. You know what? Speaking of that, let's let's check the old temperature just to see where we're at. Ah. Okay, we'll have to just let that watch sit out for a half hour. But yeah, I guess, uh, guys, I've ruined another sleeping pad. <laughs> oh man but I'll I'll send it in to the uh, company and they uh, Thermarest is really good about fixing the sleeping pads I don't know what happened to it but I've sent in two three sleeping pads and every single one has been covered under warranty brand new sleeping pads sent out to me um, they haven't even messed around with uh, fixing it. Normally they say if, if it's your cause, like there's a rip or something, they'll patch it and send it back to you and charge you 20 bucks and they'll fix it really, really nice, I guess. <laughs> but uh, um, I've, I've always gotten brand new ones. I've never, I've bought, I bought the X-Therm that I'm using now and uh, that's because I ruined that last one. That was totally my bad. That one's not covered under warranty. This one I'll send in. Um, they'll either charge me 20 bucks or it'll be, you know, it'll be free and I'll get a brand new one. Either way, um, they're pretty good about it. Funk still got her original. So these things hold up nice. I don't know what happened to it, but I'm thinking it's that weird, I don't even know what it is. It's like a salt. Definitely weird. And it's coming off that blanket that it's a military surplus synthetic wool mixture blanket. It's kind of like fire retardant, so it's got to have some kind of nasty chemical in there. Whatever it is, it must have made the sleeping pad get all weird. I definitely, as soon as I saw that, like I said, I washed it off, but that's a bummer. I hate when gear breaks. I've had probably, out of all the years I've been camping, this is the biggest year for, uh, things breaking and going wrong which is funny because last year last season the whole last year whole 2018 I really didn't have to buy any gear didn't buy a single piece of gear I don't think maybe a couple things nothing major um, and no breakage this year the snowshoes crapped out that's why I got no new snowshoes <laughs> the sleeping pad I ruined that this one's going oh yeah my winter gloves uh, those got destroyed this year. I got new winter gloves, which I haven't got to try because it hasn't been cold enough yet, but those got destroyed. <laughs> so it's been a good, good year. 
That'll happen though. That'll happen. That's okay. That's alright. I'm not too worried about it. Stuff breaks, stuff happens. And I'm I'm not uh I'm not a uh I don't I, I treat my gear with respect. I love my gear. I take care of it when it's at home, but I use and abuse my gear. I sleep with my sleeping pads out on just ice and sticks and whatever and just there's bound to get holes. But you know, it is what it is. Let's just, you know, let's crack open this uh what is this? Uh, it's a tart wheat ale. It said sour. I love sours. I'm a sucker for sours. Let's see. Let's see if it lives up to it, eh, Monty? Oh, he's got a bug on him. What is that? There's a little bug on you, Monty. Ooh. That's good. That's really good. Oh, heaven to Betsy. I'm sorry, Monty. I can't give you the sleeping pad again. <laughs> Not tonight. It's too warm. He's going to be just fine. It's like, that's not fair. I can't believe that you broke. You were the one that beats me with the sleeping pad. You expect me not to bite it? Huh? Of course I'm going to put a hole in it. No. If Monty bit it, it would be a big old hole. Come here. Come on. Up, up. He's like, no, not this, Dad. Not this. No, please. Come on, Monty. Dad, don't embarrass me. No. No. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Monty. You're just the snuggliest, fluffiest puppy. Oh, no, don't, don't, no, don't kiss me. Okay, you can kiss me. It's okay, I forgive you. Go ahead. He's like, I don't want to. He doesn't want to anymore. Right? He got a fresh grooming and a bath. He's all, you're so sleek. But you know what we need to give Monty? He's been a good boy sitting in the boat, chillaxing. He's a fluffy little bunny. I ruined his sleeping pad so he's going to be a little bit less comfy tonight. So we need to throw the stick for you. You want a stick? You want a stick? How about a treat? Dog park or a stick throw? You want me to throw the stick? Yeah. He wants to torture me with the stick. Okay, Monty. Oh, your butt is so fluffy, Monty. Look at his little feet. Can you touch your feet, Monty? <laughs> He's like, this is so embarrassing. This is so degrading. Okay, Monty. Let's throw the stick for you. <laughs> Hurrah! Okay, mister. Okay. You want this? Get some get some scent on there. Get some get some get some scent. There you go. Get here, get that get that little scent on there. That little Monty saliva scent. There's no mistake in that scent. Do you want this stick? Is is this what you want? Oh. Let me let me go over here. We'll see if he brings it back. Someone suggested to me that uh, if he doesn't bring it back, I should walk away and pretend like I don't care. Which I've done before. Bring it here, Monty. Bring it here. Come on. Good boy. See, sometimes he's just in the mood for messing with me, and other times he wants to play. And right now he wants to play, which is good. Good boy. Yeah, Monty. Yeah, I'm surprised. I don't need the snowshoes at all. It's nice and packed. I mean, I'm stepping through a little bit. Still got two feet of snow, but it's so packed and dense that, it, yeah, don't even really need snowshoes. If I had a big pack on when I was walking around, like if I was doing a portage with my backpack or whatever, definitely would need it. But 
but not right now. I'm not just walking around getting firewood and stuff. Right, Monty? Oh. Definitely think I'm going to try a few casts on the way home tomorrow. I would like to catch a fish. I'd say I've got a 5% a chance. Especially now that I've popped another sleeping pad. Bring it here, Monty. Bring it here, Monty. Come on, Come on Monty. Bring it here. Oh. <laughs> He's come chasing me. Oh, no. Go get your stick. Go get your stick. Go get your stick, Monty. Go get the stick. He's like, that looks way more fun. You're run, running in circles and stuff. Monty, it's right there. You just had it. I... I can see it, Monty, and it's in my shadow. Monty, it's right there. Come on. Come here. Come here, Monty. No, no, no. Come. Monty, you just had the stick. That's a short-term memory. It's right there, Monty. Get it. No, 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 no. Right there. Go get it. Go get it, Monty. There you go. No, 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 no. no. Yep, right there. Good boy. Good boy. No, no, turn around. No, no, Monty. No, no. Right there, Monty. Get it. Oh, oh, he can smell it. Monty, you're failing as a dog right now. You're like two feet away from it. Oh my gosh, Monty, no, this is, emb I'm embarrassed for you. Get it, Monty, get the stick. It's right there. Oh, oh my gosh. There you go, Monty. Oh man. <laughs> oh man, Monty, I'm embarrassed for you. That was that was not good. That was not good. I know you got a good sniffer. We play a lot to find the treats, and I know your saliva is pungent. What a little stinker! Yeah, he's definitely he's a frisky little critter tonight. He was super excited to get in the boat today. <laughs> yeah, Monty definitely loves his canoe time. I'll just keep throwing the stick for Monty for a bit here, and then we'll get to the cooking eventually. Right, Monty? Okay. All right, let's just keep throwing it. Give me that stick. Give me that stick. Give me that stick, dead boy. Give me that stick. Give me that stick. Okay, just check the old watch. It's 33 out. 33 Fahrenheit, so not even freezing yet. Right, Monty? It's not even freezing cold. It's still warm. There's a slight breeze picking up, just a slight one. Could mean rain, could mean just slight breeze. Who knows? But I have brought my maps out, or my one map. Monty. So it is time to start looking into a little bit where I'm going to go this spring for my. I'd like to do a seven nighter. That's the plan right now. I just got to figure out where I want to go. I think I'm going to do a nice, relaxing fishing trip. Not too relaxing, but still relaxing. I'm gonna focus more on fishing. It's just how far am I gonna go in? What you doing there, dog? I think he wants to drink some water, but he won't. This is the same water. <laughs> he just won't drink it. All right, Monty. Well, uh, we're almost ready to get cooking, ladies and gentlemen. I'm starting to get hungry. Just gonna look over these maps for another minute. Probably throw on my last log. That coal bed's not, nothing's gonna happen to that coal bed. We're definitely gonna be able to cook up dinner just fine over that. So, oh, 
It seems I forgot to pack a cutting board. Hey, Monty? So we don't got a cutting board. What do we do, Monty? What do we do? We don't got a cutting board, but we do have a shovel. Hey, that'll do the trick right there. All right, let's go, let's go like this. Oh, it's a raised cutting board. Look at that. Um, if, that's fancy. <laughs> oh yeah, that'll do the trick. Look at that, Monty. That's pretty. That's pretty nifty. If you ask me. Got two pans. Okay, we don't got much to prepare today. So we've got just a little bit of asparagus. This is already cut up. Throw that right in that pan. Just a few pieces there, Monty. And then we're gonna make our, my classic, one of my classic, one of my favorites. Potatoes, garlic, and onions. Our cutting board here is a little bit flimsy, but it's still doing the trick. go next we've got some white onion I'm gonna save half of it for home I don't need to eat a whole white onion right now Monty our raised cutting boards not doing so good Monty. there it goes some treats you're not gonna like this treat this is not a treat for you to eat this is not a treat for Monty to eat this is not a Monty treat eat, eat treat you definitely don't like garlic I'm just gonna I didn't even need to smush it with uh, with the knife. Just use my thumbs. <laughs> We're gonna leave this in nice big pieces. I always like a nice bite of garlic. The flavors will swirl around in there anyways. What do you think, Monty? Want some garlic? He's intrigued, but he's just like, I just don't think that's what you're gonna give me. <laughs> right, Monty? Scoop that right on in. This is probably the most sanitary cutting board I've ever used. Just saying. Got a nice chunk of butter there, chunk of butter there, you know, healthy portions of butter. A little bit into that one. A little, a little healthy portion of butter into that one. Oh yeah, ooh, ooh, stick that back in the snow. So we've got to add some salt to these. 
not too much salt not too little salt just the right amount of salt Ooh, that was a little that one's close to being salty Monty too salty danger zone black pepper and you may be wondering why I don't add Montreal to these it's because I like different flavors you know when I get just salt and pepper with these two with the, this one's got garlic this one's got onions that's just the veggies with butter salt and pepper and then you know you add your piece of meat with the, the Montreal it's just a whole nother level you know you gotta have different spices for different things all right so now we've got the final thing now I will I will not lie guys I was gonna go with a monster monster ribeye but I decided against it because hopes of catching a fish so I went with just a little 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 teeny tiny one pound oh don't you lick your lips little teeny tiny one pound ribeye little teeny tiny <laughs> oh wait we gotta Monty's gonna get from here and he's gonna get this fat so we'll give him like this chunk so we're gonna make a firm line here. See, there's no seasoning there, so that's what he's gonna get. He'll get that and he'll get this fat. So we're gonna keep this seasoning off this fat here. Just a little bit more, there we go. Okay. Season the other side. A little bit more. Ooh, this is gonna be a good ribeye. Oh. Okay. Let's cook, Monty. Let's do it. All right, let's move this this pupper around. I need to scrape some of this this way. Okie dokie. We're going to start with the potatoes and onions. Ooh. That's, uh, you think that'll stay? <laughs> just, just like that? Will that make any of you guys nervous? <laughs> It'll make me nervous. You know what we need to do? Got to stabilize that grit grate. That should do the trick. That's much better, look at that. Look at that. Don't you worry, Monty. Okay, let that start to get heated. After this gets cooking a little bit, we'll add on our steak, and then we'll cook up the asparagus, and life will be great. Monty, are you upset that there's a steak just sitting there? All right, back it up, back it up, back it up. All right, sit, sit. Don't worry, you're gonna get to taste this meat. Yeah, he just likes, he likes to taste the raw meat, he's a weirdo. Time for brewski number fewski. There you go, Monty. So, I know a lot of you guys have been asking, when are we gonna get Funk out camping? And I think the first time she's going to be available to go camping for a good, she'll be able to go camping I think a few times this summer, but a good long wilderness trip will be in the fall. That's the plan right now. She normally, um, you know how, you guys know how I'd like to do a fall trip every year no matter what. Um, she was doing that with me. We were doing a fall trip together, but after the video that you guys saw four nights on uh, the wilderness with my dogs and my woman that video I'll link it up here 
whatever. I'll link it up here. After that video, Ruger got diagnosed with blastomycosis. That was an ordeal until... When did we figure that out? When was he blasto-free? I don't even remember. Was it October? Was it a year? I don't know. It was... It was a while, but anywho... He's cured of that now, but he couldn't go camping really. I took him a couple times, you know, last summer, you guys saw, which those were risky. It was a risk taking him out, but I did it anyways. He loved it, and he had a good time, and he made it through. He's just fine, so that's good. But, yeah, like I said, uh, once he got cured of that blasto, he's been a normal dog ever since, and that should allow Funk to come out and uh, do a fall trip this year. We're getting the butter stirring. Ooh, these. There we go. Butter's melted now. Yeah, uh, I've been bringing out pumpkin for every time. I've, you guys have noticed that uh, I haven't been doing the sweet potatoes anymore because Sweet potatoes are still good for dogs when they're cooked, but the pumpkin puree is better. And on top of that, Monty loves the pureed pumpkin way more than sweet potatoes, and I don't have to cook it up. So it's kind of like a win-win. You know, I like giving them a hot meal, so I'm probably gonna boil them up some river water here, just to give them a nice hot meal with his pumpkin and steak, but uh, yeah, he loves that pumpkin. He goes crazy. It's really funny at home <laughs> when uh, you know we'll we'll give him his food. We were doing that food trial. We we're giving him pumpkin every meal. So now when we we don't give him pumpkin, we always uh, when we give him their food, we like to hold it in our hands and then they sit down and pretty much ask for us to set the food down. So once they sit, we Monty and Ruger, we set their bowls down and then they have to make eye contact with us to ask permission to eat and that's what they do every time and if I if we give that pump Ruger will do it every time but uh, if if we don't have that pumpkin Monty will not ask for his food he just is just like this is not good enough he just won't ask but if you have that pumpkin he'll sit right down he'll look right at you and be like can I have it please but you don't got that pumpkin in there? He just like stares at the bowl and he's just like, come on, let's get it over with. We'll eat this crap. <laughs> he's a stinker. He's a stinker. Yeah, yes you are. Fire. Oh no, we lost another potato. Dang nabbit. Thanks for sticking. We don't want no burnt potatoes. Let's get these a little. Oh yeah. All right, we'll move this off to the side. And now, it's time to add the glorious, glorious piece of meat. Oh, there we go. Let's scrape a little coalage underneath our steak and whatnot. be good this is looking this needs a flip oh yeah look at that oh, oh, oh. perfect now we've got to add 
some Monty water. It doesn't have to be boiling. As long as it's heated up, it'll be fine. As long as it's hot, hot water, it'll be good. Okay, we're gonna add this asparagus. I'm gonna add it right here on top of this water. That'll work. Asparagus does not need long to cook. And now the smoke has shifted, blowing all over. The steak is. Ooh. Ooh. Mmm. Oh. Oh, the taste of that Montreal. So good. It's getting serious now. These potatoes are getting very close to done. Ooh. Ooh, let's we need a flip. Oh, that's hot. Oh, it's so hot. Oh. All right, this just needs. That's almost done. That's pretty much done. Um, okay, I do not want an overdone steak, so what we're going to do, um, we're going to put this great grate off to the side here, and we're going to actually rest our steak for the first time, because I think this thing is done, so I'm going to be careful. Ugh. Kinda careful. Okay. Steak off to the side. Okay. I'm gonna flip the steak around. Okay. Potatoes can go right on these coals. Okay. We're resting our steak for the first time ever. This asparagus won't need much longer to cook, neither will the potatoes. Ooh, it's coming together so perfectly. I know normally he always gets it like right as my food's ready, but I thought about it and I kind of want a nice hot meal. So I don't want to, you know, have mine all be ready. So we're just going to go a little bit of water and Monty's. Oh, that's hot. Add a little bit of water to this pumpkin. Warm this up a little bit. Okay. I'll add the pumpkin into here. Monty just loves his pumpkin. He sure does. He's gonna be happy. He's getting a pumpkin and a ribeye. Nah, he's gonna be licking that snow later. Okay. Perfectly pan seared asparagus with a delicious ribeye steak and pan fried potatoes, onions, and garlic. And Monty gets pumpkin slop. But he doesn't mind. He's excited. He wants it real bad. <laughs> Monty, you ready to eat? Do you want a treat, Monty? Do you want a treat? Oh, that's that's looking beautiful. Ooh. Okay. That's a nice chunk for Monty. Let's get a little bit of this fat here. it up. I do not want to give him 
big pieces. Okay, all right, that's all you yummy pumpkin steak Monty happiness. That's what that is. That's called Monty happiness. Okay, it's time to eat. It's time to eat. Stay there. <laughs> Look at him. He's so attentive right now. No, not yet. You'll know when, don't worry. We always eat together, don't we, Monty? Always. Well, sometimes we don't. Hold on, let me, let me make a little divot for you. If I don't make a divot, he's gonna push us all over the place. Right, stay there. Let me see if I can do this without burning my hands. Oh, okay. Ooh, my steak looks rare. Oh, yeah. Oh, my potatoes. Okay, wait, hold on. Hold on, let me get my fork. Ooh, do I have... Got a little bit of beer left. I put it in that hole because Monty was running around. It's got a little sip left. Mm. It's gonna be good, Monty. He's got a feast. He is ready to just destroy that. Look at him. He's just waiting for the go ahead because he's a good boy. No, hey. Hey, when I say he's a good boy and I pet you, does that mean go? Oh, all right, go ahead, go ahead. I can't do that to you anymore. All right, we've got a, oh. I need to, I need to show you a close up of the steak before I start diving into it. Let's just, I'm not gonna zoom in, but look at how Rare that is, medium rare, perfect. Nice and red pink, just vivid, oh, okay. Okay, all right Monty, I'm gonna join ya. Ooh. This is the first time I've done this. It definitely added too much salt. Oh wait, not that one. Oh yeah, no. Yep. I'm pretty careful about the salt usually. But woo! I oversalted the asparagus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm kind of sensitive when it comes to salt. Mmm. These are perfect. I don't even know if I would have needed the fish. Well, I'd probably done if I did catch a couple fish. Make a small portion for me, but give Monty a big old fish dinner. 
and I just eat more ribeye. Mmm. <laughs> Are you begging right now? Are you begging? <laughs> that that's the appropriate response for if you're begging. <laughs> All right, now time to eat my salty asparagus. Mm-hmm. Very salty, but cook good. Mmm. Want some more potatoes? You're not getting any more steak because it's all covered in Montreal. So, Monty, I can't. It's like, it's like I can't give it to you, so I don't have to feel bad, right? Mmm. Well, mm. Mm -hmm. well, I did chew off all the Montreal, but it's a little chewy piece of fat, which I don't care for. But, he loves, oh, he didn't even chew it, dude, you just swallowed it. Anyways, guys, I'm going to finish eating up my meal here. I just got a little bit of steak and some potatoes left. And then we're going to get ready for bed. So I'll check back with you guys when I'm ready for bed. Oh, it's not gonna be your usual super comp, super comfiness, but you're gonna be just fine. Hold on, stay there. Wait, 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 wait. Back, 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 back. I know, I know, I know. You're ready. You're ready for bed. The Monty is ready to be tucked in. Don't worry, we're getting you there. Okay, Monty. Now's the time. Come here. Boy, mm, that was pretty perfect. No, I I agree. It was a, it was a little not perfect. I know it's not an air cushion. It's weird, but come on, lay down. good we're gonna just do one of these 180 180 oh there you go almost there we go oh, okay burn good boy there you go Monty A good boy. Okay. I'll just wrap you up in that. Okay. I'll cover your face. Okay. Let me get that out of here. Hold on. Hold on. You little eye boogie. Hold on, Monty. Let me get that. There you go. There you go. Good boy. Oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> nice paddling day. You know, didn't catch my fish. That's okay. 
that's okay. I will accept it. But, maybe we'll try a couple casts tomorrow. I'm not sure if I will. I've definitely got a ways to go tomorrow. And tomorrow's going to be a long day. Got to drive home. Got to edit. Take care of all my gear. Yeah. It's going to be a long day tomorrow. So, we'll see. We'll see how much I fish. I'm definitely going to get up and get moving pretty early. Try not to sleep in too much if I can help it. But I usually sleep in no matter what I do out here. Because it's just so peaceful in the morning. I don't like to get up at dark when it's just... You can hear that uh, river creek just trickling. Anywho, guys. I'm going to pass out. So I'll catch you in the morning. Good night, everybody. <clears throat> Good morning. So snuggly, bunny, fluffy doggy. <laughs> oh, I slept great last night. Everybody, oh, ducks are going crazy over there. They've been doing that for like. 45 minutes. I don't know if that's like a mating call or a distress call or a territory call or... I don't really know. I don't know ducks very well. Oh. But this is a beautiful spot to wake up to. That's for sure. I just had my head sticking out of the uh, sleeping bag all night. It was pretty warm last night. It was very warm. I didn't check my watch, but... It couldn't have been much. It had to be upper 20s. It was pretty warm. <sighs> but I can hear just the trickle of that water. Duck sounds upset, Monty. Anyways, I think Monty slept good. And he's creeping around for food. <coughs> well, I guess it's time to get up, put some layers on. Let's do it. Oh. Hi, Monty. Hi. Hi. 
<laughs> Hi, puppers. What are you doing? What are you doing? You think you can... <laughs> Little bits of potato. Or not potato. Sweet potato. Er, uh, pumpkin. That's what I mean. Pumpkin. Oh, it's a peaceful one out today. This morning. Top of the morning. So it didn't really, there was like, last night I said the breeze was picking up. It did for about three minutes, there was a breeze. Three, five minutes, just a little breeze going back and forth, and then it just kind of disappeared. No precipitation last night. We got angry ducks this morning. So this, this tarp, we didn't even need it. But you know, it's better to be safe than sorry. I did say something about precipitation. I do know, that uh, rain is coming. I think I think rain will be here in four hours. So I'm uh, I'm definitely I'm gonna take a few casts if there's a really nice tree, but I'm definitely gonna we're gonna get packed up pretty quick here, get moving. Got a long day today anyway, so it's like a double double reason to get moving. My dude, what are you doing? Are you sniffing for food? What? What do you think? What are you doing, huh? He does this thing where uh, if you throw the stick down a hill, like a steep hill or something, and he's running too fast, he barks every time he touches the ground. Like, rrr, 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 rrr. Bring here, Monty. That's a good boy. I'm scared. Yeah, he's trying to he's trying to hit my hand. Trying to hit my hand, huh? Oops. That was weird. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess what we're going to do is throw the stick for Monty here for a minute. And then I'm going to get packed up and we will get moving. We've got a two, three hour paddle ahead of us. Somewhere in there. I don't really know how far we made it. I do not know how far we are. We got to be somewhere around the middle. Somewhere in there. It's maybe halfway down with the paddle. I don't know. Who knows? We're into woods. We're into woods. Hey, Monty. Bring it here, Monty. Bring me that stick. You're doing great. Come on, bring it here. Yeah, see? See how much fun it is when you bring it back to me and I throw it and then you bring it back to me? Come on. Come on. Come on, Monty. Monty, Mr. Monty. I guess I'll come to you. Okay. Okay. Just keep throwing it here and then we'll pack her up.
You know, ultra light, ultra compact sleeping bag. You always gotta have one of those. And then you know, we've got another ultra light, ultra compact sleeping bag for Mati here. You know, ultra compact. There. And now there's no more room left in the bag. Ten bucks says I pack it way more efficiently today than I did yesterday. Yesterday, I was in somewhat of a mad dash. We'll see. Maybe I'll pack it worse today. Who knows? Maybe Monty, who knows? Now I've got to take out take out the DSLR and pack that in here. So I'm just gonna finish pack up the rest of this crap and then get in the boat. Get to paddling. Ooh. Ooh. SS good times. Oh. I could have just had you hop in. There you go. There you go. One last double check. Do a little, little hippity hop. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. All right. And we're off. Uh, uh. Okie dokie. We're back in the boat. All right, first big tree that I see a nice little hole under. It's got like a big fresh tree where we saw that trout yesterday. We're gonna cast there. You know, I'm sure there's other places we could catch them. I'm sure, I'm sure they're just all in here under every tree all over the place. There's tons of them, but we're not gonna dink around too much because like I said, I bet, see right there, there's a big deep hole. I bet there's seven trout under there. <laughs> like, there's gotta be. But see, that's that, that's the type of person I am when I'm fishing. Like, every time I see a nice tree, I'm like, oh yeah, there's a fish under there. Oh yeah. But, you know, there probably is. From what I've seen in my day, there usually is fish under those. Oh, now we've got a nice... Oh, this is gonna be fun. What the heck do we do here? Uh, uh, there's no other way around it. We have to go this way. Uh, scoop! Oh, we've got some more fun maneuvering 
This is a nice little jam. Water's a quick here. There we go, Mudsy. Sorry. If there's any hit sticks hitting you in the face, I apologize, Monty. There's not a ton I can do. I can't help myself, no matter what. I need to take a few casts. See this little spot here to the left looks like a great spot. Nice little. There had to be a fish down there. There had to be. There's no way. Look at this. There's another creek coming in. There's a big log. There's a big deep hole on a corner. Maybe the spoon isn't where it's at. The little blue and silver teeny spoon. Oh, it's getting me excited for like real spring. <laughs> this is fake spring. <laughs> this is, I wish it was spring, but it's not quite spring, but it's technically spring, but yeah, it's not spring. Spring thing, fake spring. That's what I'm calling it, but the sounds of spring when the birds are chirping and like the frogs are going crazy at night and the bugs, oh, oh, oh. It's just getting me amped right now. Even though I, th I do feel Personally, that my spinner would probably do better. I'm gonna still try the spoon. It's easier to fish the spoon. We've got a nice downed green tree. It's nice and fresh. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Come on, baby. I know I should be using my spinner. Ooh, that was a good cast. Inches away from the edge of it. Come on. Nothing. No, we're, we're scooting into it. No. Oh, there's a deep hole here. There has to be a fish. Oh, oh I had a bite. No! No! <laughs> no! Dang! Okay, so they bite the spoon. This is a perfect little spot here. Let me grab the camera. This definitely looks like, okay, look right here. Super deep hole, you can't even see the bottom. Fresh green tree, a bunch of logs. That was definitely a bite. They bit the spoon. Okay. So we saw a fish at a green, fresh green tree, and this is this is a nice hole. But there's no way he's gonna bite now. I'm sitting on top of it, making all sorts of noise. Dang. Alright. Okay. The only thing is it's so hard to fish when you're moving towards it. You only get a cast or two, you have to park. That's probably another big problem I'm having is I need to park more on the side. When I see something like that, creep, you know, back paddle, 
creep through the woods and find a nice spot and sit there and cast a few times. That's what I need to do. Okay. We're learning. We're learning. It's fun to learn on your own sometimes, you know? You just go out and try. This is something I've never tried before. I've never fished just... I've never paddled the stream, like I said, this early. I've never fished nothing. And I don't trout fish rivers. Ever. I've never... I don't think I've ever successfully caught a trout from a river. Oh gosh. Oh. Oh, my pole's gonna get tangled. How low can you go, Monty? How low can you go? Who? Oh. oh, don't get tangled. No. Okay. Yeah, as I was saying. Never successfully caught a trout. I don't think. Let me let me think here for a second. Oh wait, no, in Montana. Yeah. That was probably the first river trout I've caught. But yeah, I'm not a river trout fisherman. It's something that's new to me. But I will come back out and I'm gonna try. I'm thinking this spring is gonna be the first spring where I'd really try uh, going for some trout in these rivers and streams. But I'm gonna wait till the bugs are real nasty. Maybe we'll do like some, maybe we'll do like an overnighter where I just hike along a river and cast and then we'll just set up camp somewhere. That'd be kind of fun. I feel like it's better, it almost seems better to be walking. You know, it's real thick, but walking along a river like this and casting when you see the holes, it'd be a lot stealthier. And you get more time, but who knows? I don't know. I'm just talking, I'm just yip yapping in. You know? You know? Yep, the yapping in. Ah. Ah. That wasn't so bad. Hey, <laughs> Monty. Okie dokie guys, we've been paddling for a solid hour and 20 minutes and I can't imagine there's much further to go. So I'm not going to be taking any more casts unless there's an epic little hole with a nice, uh, you know, tree overhanging it. But, had a beautiful little campsite on the river, wish we would have got to spend a little bit more time there, but, you know, it is what it is. We, we, we gave our spot, we, we could have had another spot uh, with that baby deer there, but we had the perfect spot, you know? Still was the perfect spot, but... Well, well, you know, we'll get here again. We'll get to camp again. It'll, everything will be fine. It was a good little fun evening. Monty had some fun. But anyways, we're just going to paddle back to the car, and that's that. So, as always, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys at the next video. I just have to try. Last cast, one final cast. Ooh, it wasn't bad. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Thought we were gonna get that last cast luck. Oh well, oh well.